Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I got some new little stamps from Timo, and they're not really little. I'm surprised. I thought they would be really tiny. They're pretty large, but they're teapots, and they are adorable. Been looking for some teapot stamps, and every time I put these in my basket for Timu, they're sold out before. I finished my order. But here they are. You can see them. Let's see. Yes, you can. There's four of them, and then there's little shoes and socks together. Really cute, but this is what I'm really after for my Alice in Wonderland or Alice's Adventures journal. It's going to be so cute. Just really cute. I like them. Let's see, went ahead and stamped them. I didn't want to bore the thing. Everyone knows how to stamp. But let's see what sizes they are. This one, it's about three and a half by two and a half. This one is about three and maybe an eighth. And it's about three inches, and this is about three and a half by uh, about two and a half, roughly. And this one is about three and a half by two and three quarters. Pretty good size. I am going to color them. I think they're so cute. How right, you picked out my colors? I am using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. And let's see. They're so cute. I just don't know where to start. Let me get my sheet out here. What colors? Definitely red. Uh, wait a minute. Which red do we want? that red. Well, this one's a winner. Let's see what this red looks like. Nope, I don't want the wine red. We'll use this one. We'll do this one, I think, in black and red. I think that'll be cute. Whoop, that's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh well, I already started. So I'm just going to keep at it. Just give these a little bit of color. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I hope you're getting to craft something or to make something, create something, write something. Every day I'm getting better. I was so excited this evening. I had, uh, I'm on a soft palate diet. So <clears throat> I had refried beans and mashed potatoes and it was so yummy. <laughs> so very yummy. Oh my goodness, it was yummy. Okay, I'm gonna put this one way over there so I'll remember which one it was. Let's see, what color was that? Carmine Red. In with black. And I, these are so whimsical, I'm not concerned that I am totally in the lines or anything like that. Just gonna go around the edges, not circles. And I am in the market for some, another marker set. I've really been looking and searching. A 
I'm not sure if I want Copic workers or if I want to just get all, I have a lot of Sharpie colored markers. I'm not sure what I want to get. I'm not sure what's the best to get. I really like coloring with markers. Just don't get the vivid colors that I want with, <clears throat> what do you call those? Colored pencils. So I'm in the market for markers. If you have an opinion, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've tried certain markers, which ones to stay away from. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a set of markers that's not really going to work for me. I do want a permanent marker. I do know that. So I wonder what we should put with that. Because I don't want to do the red. I think red is just too dark. I wonder about a light pink if we do. Hmm. Or maybe this. Ooh, that might be nice and bright. Yeah, that work. That's cute. So yes, I am in the market for a set of markers because these are not permanent markers. I have to Mod Podge them to seal them. And not all of the time does it not bleed, so. I need something that's permanent without having to Mod Podge everything. That's a cute, cute. spots. That will work. That's cute. I like that. I like the poopy dots. Let's do this one. I already know that. Let me see. Wait a minute. Let me. This one's really dark pink. This one is Kind of a brighter pink, obviously. Let's see, what else do we have? I don't know why I turned that up that way. The green, we need a green with this one also. Not that one. Just this one. <gasps> Maybe that one. Let's see, runner up. Hmm, I think I like these right here. So let's make, hmm, let me go ahead and do the background in this color. It's a little more detailed than I imagined. I love to color. It is such a stress reliever for me. It's so satisfying to see the color go down. I love it. Love to color. I'm not a perfectionist at coloring. I just like to do it. I don't stress myself out if I go out of the lines. That's not what it's about for me. It is a stress reliever. Look at that. I missed the big old, big old, big old large area there. Let's 
just going to color this whole thing. This whole thing. You're really cute. DTs will make a really cute addition to my Alice in Wonderland. Oh, there's another one. hear the buzzing that's just my dryer going off there that's cute I like that Other stripes will be yellow. Are there any more stripes? Yep, at the bottom. Now, what else? What else? Hmm. I like the white with the yellow. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have another yellow. This is what's going to happen. I really like just the black and the yellow. think that's lazy just coloring it like this but I like it I think it looks like a bumblebee or a bee in general I really like it it's just a solid color with anything it would just be like black and turquoise or black and green pink and black I like the black and yellow though, right now. That is cute, really cute. Let's do another one, let's see, what are we gonna do this one as? Let's see, let's see. Hmm. There's this light blue. Pink or red, pink or red, pink or red. I don't know. Pink or red. Oh, there's another. There's a yellow. That's the yellow I just used. Hmm. Pink. Just get a little bit on here. Okay, is that all the ones that look like stitching? I think, yes. Okay, now I have this turquoise here, but I want some orange. Oh, that's cute. Nice and colorful. I 
can make a cute Mother's Day card too if you have a mother to give it to. do four different cards one teapot on each car you could do a couple of teapots on the same car or all of them on the same car that'd be cute too that's cute I like that it's really cute okay going to do this. Uh, there's my dryer again. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's not going to stop screaming until I go take care of it. Oh, we're almost done here. They're really cute. Cute, cute. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. There we go. Okay, awesome. Let's see, this is what they look like. That, so cute. Then this is what they look like colored. Oh, I like them all. I'm thinking that's my favorite. But then I really like that one. And I also like this one. And that one too. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. I think I'm leaning toward that being my favorite at the moment. But anyway, thanks for joining me while I did a little coloring and a little stressing. Thank you so much. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.